Hello everyone. Today we're going to go over kind of the differences between the 2015 Dodge Charger and the 2014 Dodge Charger. For the 14 I'm going to be using my personal vehicle. It's 2014 100th Anniversary Edition SXT Plus. It's in granite crystal, clear coat metallic, and it has the foundry, black leather interior. And for the 2015 model, we have a 2015 Dodge Charger SE, all wheel drive. It's in granite crystal, clear coat metallic as well. And it has the dark slate, cloth interior. Alright, kind of in a technical standpoint, the differences between the 2015 and the 2014. The 2014 used a cast iron rear differential with a cast iron prop shaft. It also used U joints on the axles. On the 2015 model, they've changed that to an aluminum rear differential with an aluminum prop shaft. They've also changed the U-joints and the axles to a more robust CV joint, which allows it to be smoother, quieter, and a little bit more refined. For the 2015 model year, the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine remains unchanged. Standard across all models in the range now is the 8-speed torque flight automatic transmission. It was an option on the 2014 as with the Hemi, the RT models, and the SRT models, it came with the 5-speed automatic. The 8-speed is standard across the entire line now. With a much more beefed up 8-speed transmission for the SRT and the Hellcat edition. Alright, so for a styling standpoint. The Charger front end for the 2014 model here was aggressive with a rake forward design. It also had on the hood it had impressions that look similar to cowl induction. And of course the side strakes on the door. Looking at the rear of the 2014 you had the racetrack LED tail lamps and the dual exhaust. Alright, for the 2015 model year, however, the front clip and the rear clip has changed. It's the most dramatic feature on the new Charger. It's a more uh, straightforward look, a little bit more softer, kind of looks like a dart. They have changed the front grille. Also new headlamps with LED uh, daytime running lamps, projector beam halogen headlamps, and LED turn signals. Also along the front, LED, LED running lamps on the front end. They do have a new hood. Dodge calls it more stripe friendly. And on the doors, the side strakes are a little bit softer than what they were on the 2014 model. Alright, looking at the rear of the vehicle. A much more refined racetrack LED lamp with a more seamless design. It's also a little bit more rounded. Give it the more of an appearance of a dart. The new face of Dodge really. The dual exhaust on the rear clip of the 2015 is integrated into the rear valance. And you also have your LED running lamps integrated into the rear parts as well. And take a look at the interior of the 2014. On this particular model, it does have the flat rim steering wheel, which is standard on the 100th anniversary edition. On the standard chargers, it was just a full round rim. Same three spoke design, however. And you had your Uconnect voice recognition controls and your phone controls, as well as your trip computer and your cruise control. And on this particular model, it has the aluminum paddle shifts. And on the back of the steering wheel, your audio controls. All, all chargers have featured the keyless enter and go, so they all still have the push button start. This is the 
2014 Charger Instrument Cluster Display. It does have the center LCD trip computer that has changed on the 2015. We'll go, we'll go over all that. This particular vehicle has the 8.4 inch Uconnect touchscreen display with Garmin navigation. That's also available on the 2015 Charger. And the climate control and audio control redundant controls below. Dual zone climate with air conditioner control, recirculation control, front and rear defroster and traction control. As well as SD card reader and DVD slot. You've also got a 12 volt power point. This is another big change that's happened between 2014 and 2015. In 2014, we had the 8-speed electronic controller. Basically what it did was you press a button and you put the gear selector in the gear you wanted. And it would return back to the center position, kind of like a joystick. And then of course we have a little slot here. Illuminated cup holders. This is all changed as well for the 2015. In the 2014, we had our Uconnect controllers here, USB port, auxiliary port, and a 12-volt power point, as well as a removable liner. All right, taking a look at the interior of the 2015 model year. One thing that's different already that you see, brand new steering wheel. It's a new corporate steering wheel. It's very familiar if you've been in a Jeep Grand Cherokee, a Chrysler 200, a Dodge Dart, and a Jeep Cherokee. It does have the refined new buttons on it for the trip computer and new location for your Uconnect Bluetooth controllers and your cruise control. Leather wrap steering wheel as well as your audio control still on the back side. All new for 2015 is a brand new instrument cluster with new gauge faces. It also has a new uh, 7 inch multi view uh, display cluster. I do have a detailed video of this and I'll put the, uh, the link in the I'll put the link in the uh, video. So this is all new. Dashboard is pretty well the same. Uh, there are some smaller differences that we'll go over. Now this vehicle is equipped with Uconnect the 5.0 touchscreen display, but it can be had with the the 8.4 8 inch. Looking below, your redundant controls for your climate and your audio controls are here. A little bit different layout, however. The other thing I noticed, and it was took me a minute to notice it but I also noticed that they have kind of like a free floating design which I really really like so I have your dual zone but your climate is actually together as well as your audio is now together instead of all kind of strewn about still retain your 12 volt power point and your push button start also brand new for the new automatic transmission instead of having the electronic shifter we now have it's still electronic but the lever stays in the position that you put it in, acting more like a standard automatic transmission selector. New sport mode, you have your plus and minus with this way as well. A little bit bigger storage tray here with the Dodge Brothers Design of Detroit logo. Cup holders are carry over from the previous year. And look at in the center console. It has changed. We've now got our SD card reader, USB port, and auxiliary port located in a much more convenient location, as well as our 12 volt power point. We do still have our removable liner, which covers all that. It can be changed over as well if you have cords plugged in. Seats remain unchanged, they have a different stitch pattern, however. All right, and take a look at the rear seat of the 2014 model year Charger. Now this one is the 100th anniversary, so it's gonna have the high-end foundry leather interior. It does have the full down center armrest with illuminated cup holders, covered storage. Seat backs are also folding, 60-40 split. This particular vehicle is equipped with heated rear seats and a 12 volt power point with positional air vents. Alright, take a look at the rear seat of the 2015 model year vehicle. Still seats three across with integrated head restraints. The seats are relatively unchanged. 
does also feature a fold down center armrest. This particular one does not have the covered storage. It also doesn't have the illuminated cup holders. That's available on the SXT and above. Seats still fold, 60-40 split however. Also new for the 2015 model year and very handy. Still retain your positional vents. This particular vehicle does not have the optional heated seats, but it does have the twin USB charge, charge ports, which was not available in the 2014. All right, this is just looking at the engine compartment of the 2014 Charger, 3.6 liter Pentascar V6 engine. This particular one has the upgraded to 300 horsepower. This is the engine compartment for the 2015 model year. This is a 292 horsepower 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar engine. It does have a new Charger logo emblazoned on the panel. Other than that, engine compartments are relatively unchanged. One other thing that I noticed was the different sound it makes whenever your key fob has left the, the uh, Charger, the vehicle. This is the sound in the 2014. Very annoying. And this is the sound it makes in the 2015 Charger. Less annoying, but still annoying. All right, and this is looking at the luggage area of the 2014 Charger. This particular vehicle has the Beats Audio Premium Audio System. Nice tie-down hook here. And of course, your spare tire storage is underneath this with the battery. And this is the luggage area for the 2015. This particular model doesn't have the Beats Audio, but it is an option. Still retain the nice tie-down hook here. It is illuminated on both sides as well. And just like in the 14, spare tire and battery and fuse relays are all located in the trunk for better weight distribution. Alrighty, this does conclude our quick look at the styling differences and some of the technical differences between the 2014 Dodge Charger and the 2015 Dodge Charger. Hopefully this vehicle was informative. If you have any questions or would like to see this 2015 Charger all-wheel drive, please contact our showroom. One of our friendly sales staff will be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. And as always, we thank you for watching.